Okay, so when you build a website, you've got the development, you've got the design, you even do wireframing, but before all that, before you even kickstart that entire creative process, you have to build out a sitemap, which is essentially a blueprint of all the content and all your pages. So in this video, we're going to explore a new tool called Octopus, which utilizes AI to build a sitemap instantly. Let's go. So here we are inside of Octopus and we can either start from a new project or from a template here. But more importantly, what we actually wanna do is start using AI. So I'm gonna click on this little AI generate button here and I can essentially write the brief for Octopus to actually extract and put into a basic sitemap. So for this instance, I want to build a marketing site for my tech startup that creates micro products for Framer and Let's just be specific about what Framer is. So let's just call it a no code website builder. Okay, and let's click generate. And you'll see that my website has started to build itself. Octopus's AI is saying that I need a homepage and because I'm building micro products, there's gonna be multiple products. So it's essentially laying out the structure of what that landing page might be. And this is pretty incredible. I mean, like from a time perspective alone, like I think the quality of this is pretty good. They've got products, solutions, resources, like essentially everything I would want to cover anyway. But from a time perspective, like I don't have to go through and do all this myself, which is something I usually would have to do. Now it just automatically generates all of this for me and essentially gives me the bones to start and expand it and add a little bit more personality. Now I wanna go through and customize this a little more. So you see we've got these like content blocks here, which is essentially each section of our website. So for example, the homepage here, maybe we want another section in here. So let's click on add block and let's just call this call to action. And let's make this a different color so we know it's something important and let's just move it down to the bottom here. And I really like it that we can just drag and drop and update the direction of these sections. And let's say I'm working with a marketing designer and I'm not designing the site myself, or even if I'm sending this to a client, I can actually click into here and click on this little text icon here and add some comments. So we might say the text here is uh, build your dream project today. And we might need an illustration for this section. So I might tag myself and I say, hey, Ryan, let's create an illustration here. Beautiful. And essentially all I would do is just go through and build out the rest of these pages and add a little bit more detail. Like again, I think it's done a good job, but again, like under products, like header, product one, product two, product three, that's great. But like, let's add some more detail here. So if we know that product one is our frame of forms product, and product two is the career course, and product three is the Framer Masterclass, then I'm gonna put that in here. And I would also update the headings of each page as well. Now, there are some other pretty cool features on Octopus as well. If I click on this little plus here, I could add some sticky notes. So if I wanna add a comment here for someone, let's say uh, this needs to be expanded. And let's say this vision page needs to have our values. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So we can also add something called symbols, which if you're familiar to Framer or Figma, essentially is a component. So let's create a new symbol here and let's call this one header 2023. So now that I've created this symbol, if I go back to my symbol library, I can drag in this symbol anywhere on my canvas. So let's say on each page, we're obviously going to have a header. So on every page here, I would just drag in my new header and then the really powerful thing about symbols, if, if I update something here, so if we called it header 2024, it would update everywhere else as well. And we can even visualize each section as well. So if we select a section and click on wireframes, we can actually show a little preview of what that section might contain. So for example, we've got a section here that says introducing our products. So in my mind, that's almost like a bit of a gallery view of all our products. So I would just select that. And for the call to action, we're obviously gonna have a bit of a call to action button. So let's find something that looks pretty good, maybe like that. And you can see very quickly, you can start to actually put together your landing page in a real low fidelity view. And this gives the rest of your team or even your clients a bit more insight into what that content will actually look like. So even though this is just a sitemap, I actually see this could be a pretty powerful product for actually starting your wireframing process during this phase of your project as well. 
Now, when I'm ready to share my project, I just have to click on share. I can add a read or edit view. So if I just wanna share this with the client, I'm probably just gonna get them to read or I can send them an email as well. And overall, that's how you use Octopus, an AI site building tool to fast track your creative process. Overall, I think it's actually a really cool tool and I'm actually gonna use this personally in all my sort of like web projects moving forward. I think it's a great way to very quickly just get things onto a page and not have to worry about, you know, making things pixel perfect or organizing documents. As you can see, it's really simple to actually create. And just super quickly, just a huge shout out to Octopus for actually collaborating with us on this video. Without their support, this type of content could not be possible. And overall, like I think the biggest value for a tool like this isn't necessarily the design or anything like that. It's actually speed. And even though AI can be a little bit daunting when it comes to you know design and creativity, and we go, oh my God, what's gonna happen to our jobs? It's actually really important to start utilizing these tools into your workflow because guess what? They're not going anywhere. And like tools like this can actually save you a ton of time. So be the creative that you are, stop doing less work on actually pushing things around on the canvas and utilize tools like Octopus to actually speed up your process so you can spend more time doing what you're best at, which is being creative. If you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this, feel free to consider subscribing to the channel. We put out more Framer content every single week. And if you do wanna try Octopus for yourself, go to octopus.do and get started with a free account. Until next time, I'll catch you later.